So you're not gonna believe this. In the past few days, sure, we have covered all the bad news that's going around with Xbox. And before that, we covered all the news surrounding PlayStation as well, how they were like pounding gamers and how Xbox is clapping gamer cheeks. But you're truly not ready for what's to come in this video. Get ready for the climax. I got a video that I wanna show you guys. I got a bunch of stuff here. We also got the story about the guy, how he nuked Phil Spencer <laughs> camp in Fallout 76 and Mudahar comes out, says that if you live in these countries, just pirate. Yeah, we're gonna get down to that. If you're looking like this right now, well, get ready to be looking a lot more like this in just a little bit because apparently this is also going around and people are mad. Uh, understandably, rightfully so, because on the left you got Lara Croft, Tomb Raider. Uh, this is uh, how she was back in the days, but now she apparently got that change here. So now it's no longer, people are saying it's not Lara Croft anymore, it's Larry, Larry Croft. Bruh. I don't agree with that. I think it's not Larry Croft. It's Lorenzo right now. So, so yeah, li like the video if you want to see La uh, Lara Croft or just like the video if you want to see Lorenzo, but get ready for the climax or roll it. Guys, I, I don't know what to say. I, I don't know what to say anymore. Yeah. It seems like I can't get away from, if not bad news, news that I know is going to end up bad in yeah. the gaming community in, in the Man, game even during the roni situation we didn't have that much bad news sure bad news is never stopping but even during the roni situation when everything felt like was slowing down we still had good news what is happening in gaming what is going on right now with playstation and xbox bro? gaming industry as a whole i'm not looking for this stuff it's just it's just there it's, it's front just there. and yeah. center and the yeah. fact that there are gamers out there people out there Still defending like the billion dollar corporations, uh, you know, leave the multi billion dollar company alone. You seen that meme? There are still people out there doing that. Like the video if you're team gamers, dislike the video if you're like, hey, leave the multi billion dollar company alone. I, 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 know I don't understand it. I Wait want to it. cover two things I want to cover Hell Divers 2, and I want to cover Black Ops 6 Gulf War here. These okay. two bits of news are kind of intertwined. Not only that, not only that, I want to say this is my Hell Divers 2 gameplay. I purchased the game after the fiasco was supposedly fixed. It is fantastic. It is a great game. I played about four or five hours now. Still very new. But I have nothing but good things to say about it. Yeah, like, yeah, I yeah. understand why it has the hype that it does. It is a fantastic yeah. game. I had a blast playing with my friends. Mm. I don't really have but, anything really to compare it to. Maybe like Gears of War, Lost Planet, okay. um, with a, with a tinge of Battlefield, just in the sound effects, the weather, what have you. It is a uh, it is an achievement. I truly think it is a special game. <laughs> However, I'm I'm almost regretting my purchase after the news that I saw today. Let's just get right on into it. And I, like, I, just, I just don't know, man. Look, okay. <laughs> Pirate Software says this on Twitter. The uh -oh. Helldivers 2 community was tricked by Sony. Sony declared having a PSN account would be mandatory to yeah. play Helldivers 2. The community revolted and trashed the game's review score to 13% positive. Sony walked it back and stated they wouldn't be making PSN mandatory. Declaring yeah. victory, the community undid the massive wave of negative reviews, yet Sony did something, something sinister, sinister in the background. They restricted Helldivers 2 from being purchased in oh, all man. 177 countries. I don't get Sony and Xbox sometimes, guys. Like, PlayStation, they are literally cannibalizing their own game success. Yeah, the battle was won, or more like we just won round one, but Sony's like, hey, hold my beer, son. Sony has now also blocked all of these countries from purchasing Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut. What is going on? What is going on? And, and brother also apparently came out. Where's the brother? Where's that? Let me find the brother here. Uh, yeah, there was a brother here. Yeah, yeah, brother also came out. Says I was expecting Sony to take revenge over Helldivers PlayStation. True enough, countries that don't support PlayStation Network don't get Ghost of Tsushima, not even just single player. Bruh. So, Sony Fornia. <laughs> Sony Fornia will keep biting you and never let go. So even the, the, the single player is not accessible in like 177 countries. What? What? Why y'all doing this? You're literally cannibalizing your own game right now. I don't get it, bro. I don't get it. I don't get it. Trees where PSN isn't available. Mm -hmm. I was worried mm -hmm. they wouldn't walk this back. And here we are. Yeah. They have not. And it looks like they will not. Walk this back. And you know what? Not many people are talking about it because uh, people have screamed their lungs and they got at least some things to be changed, which is, uh, hey, you don't, you no longer need PlayStation Network. If you're outside of these 
177 countries, right? So you don't need it, and it was a W, absolutely, we covered that, we covered all of this uh, news uh, like a week ago, right? But now, we're figuring out that there is uh, another, there is round two, there is round two right now, and not many people are covering, be because Xbox News has taken front and center, once people forget about that, we're gonna have something else as well, it just never stops in gaming. Back. They fooled you, and the devs are still fighting to fix it. Pirate uh -oh. Software goes on to say this. For those claiming these two actions were not associated in trying to community note me, Sony restricted sales at 2200 UTC on May 4th and sent out the notice of walking back the PSN requirement at 0400 UTC on May 6th. These actions were 30 hours apart. The wave of downvotes started on May 3rd and continued until Sony announced the PSN requirement was dropped on May 6th. You can review this in the package information and via Steam's customer reviews tool. And then Commander Turk says, damn, people trying to push a false narrative to protect Sony. These guys need to stop standing up for corpos when they do shady shits. Otherwise, they'll keep trying to pull the same practices in the future. I've been saying this for the better part of five years, hell, even beyond that, back in the loot box era, yeah. that uh, yeah. you need to stop doing this. I've been saying the same yeah. thing. The COD, current COD community, just yeah. eat paste. They are just <laughs> dumb as fuck. I legitimately have never seen a community so stupid. And you can get mad oh, at me for man. saying that. I'm not calling you the individual stupid if you're a part of the community because I am too. I mean, we're all a bit stupid if we're still messing around with COD in some degree, but they just don't get it. They cannot see the forest for the trees. They cannot see that like when I'm calling something out, I mean, yes, I am crapping on the game, but it's to see a better game. If I'm calling you out for spending $500 on skins and then you wonder why you're, why you're playing on servers with packet loss galore, packet burst galore, low tick rate servers when this is a billion dollar company, you just you just don't get it. You never will. Yeah. I, I, I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah. You cannot. I, I mean, Call of Duty community, listen, I, I'm a, you can say I'm a Call of Duty fan because the, the only Call of Duty game that I did not buy was the recent Modern Warfare 3 2023 ever since i discovered call of duty which happens to be all the way back in 2010 with black ops 1 that was my first call of duty game let me know what is your first call of duty game in the comments below and this is gonna make you look so old or make you feel old i certainly felt old this is my twitter i would definitely love to have you uh there but i posted this just recently what was your first call of duty mine was black ops 1 14 years ago <laughs> yeah le let me know what was your first call of duty game like holy crap bro 14 years ago can you believe it so first call of duty game i bought it and i bought all of these games afterwards because i was hooked i even went ahead bought all of these i remember buying this uh if i'm not mistaken call of duty 1 2 and 3 were also bundled with uh, on playstation and playstation net uh, playstation store so i remember buying the call of duty classic right correct me if i'm wrong but i think it contained 1 2 and 3 and a platinum that game back in the days absolutely when i was a kid right uh, i i have good memories i have good memories of playing all of these games and Call of Duty community is... Listen, I love the community, nothing but live, man. But it's, it's gaming at the end of the day ain't that deep. But see, the problem is that now we're getting like... Uh, of course, we uh, not long ago, we ended up getting like this. Uh, let me actually show you guys. We ended up getting a BBC bundle, $20 skins, right? So yeah, people were like, hey, wow, look at that. Strong, empowering, stunning, brave, stunning, brave. We had that $20 bundle. And right after that, we got $80. $80 King Kong bundle. And you wanna know what the Call of Duty community said? They said it's just a reward. <laughs> it's just a reward. Look at Activision, they are being very nice. And right after we made a video on, you know, uh, talking about and covering the news about that $80 King Kong, King Kong monkey punch out there. Right after we covered that, apparently we ended up getting a $100 skin. <laughs> And again, you want to know what the Call of Duty community in general, not talking about you guys, you guys are definitely uh, uh, awake, uh, right? You guys know what's going on and all that, right? But I'm talking about general, the general Call of Duty community. The general Call of Duty community was saying, dog, it's not a hundred dollar skins. It's just like a reward for you. Uh, once you spend a hundred dollars in microtransactions, you get like a bonus. Look at Activision. They're very nice Bruh. and they're treating their customer base very, very right. Let's just say, right? I couldn't think of another term here, but but like, yeah, bro. So it's just a reward according to Call of Duty community, bro. Be purchasing these skins and expect a better playing experience. They have no reason to fix or improve anything if you keep yeah. dumping money into their lap. Some people are so brain reward. dead, maybe they don't notice it, maybe they don't care. They just want to play digital dress up in their first person shooter, whatever. And I get that. And that's what Call of Duty wants. They want to market to the lowest 
lowest form of gamer. They want to market to the normie personified. That's why they keep just throwing everything they can into these bundles has no theme to it. No rhyme or reason for any of it. You got Rick from The Walking Dead. You got some weird furry Teletubby thing. Yeah. You got 21 <laughs> Savage and Snoop Dogg. You got like, just random- I, Yesterday I saw like gameplay of Modern Warfare 3 2023, right? I didn't buy the game, but like I saw the gameplay on Nero Shinema YouTube channel. And uh, apparently there was a guy with like a uh, lion cat tail, <laughs> like a whole ass, like 20 inch tail, just, uh, you know, flopping around. I was like, bro, what era am I in? What year? am I in like I felt so lost because you guys gotta understand I come from <laughs> I come from the black house well, these are like the dinosaurs time uh, in current modern day gaming era right I came from this dinosaur era <laughs> of Call of Duty when we had none of that and now like suck is getting King Kong bundles monkey punches BBC bundles uh, like lion tail cat tails teletobies and all that okay bro like whoa like random I stuff. don't know man Just random stuff no rhyme or reason for it you so know, um, crazy, weird, bro. like, uh, clown things, uh, horror movie characters, uh, anime stuff. Wait for it. No rhyme or reason for it. They want to just sell something sparkly to a normie. Just yeah. consume the product and don't ask questions. That's yeah, what yeah, they want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's get into the Black Ops 6 uh -oh. news here. Our, our war with Sony is not over, clearly. Not I don't over, know if not over other yet. people, like now that this is walked back for the most part, I don't know if anyone else is going to make a stink about this. Like, I don't yeah. know if this is going to be something. Yeah, already I'm not seeing many people talk about it because I, I feel like that it's it. we did talk about it for like a solid week and we got like this mini victory uh, kind of, right? And now people are, people forgot about it. I don't blame anybody, of course. Like, we got bigger fish, we got, everybody got their problems. Like, everybody got problems, uh, right? So they look at this, I like their whatever, you know what I'm saying? Most people, of course, this is, now nah, this is gonna affect a lot of people. I mean, you're talking about 177 countries, but of course, it's not uh, affecting people, I guess, in the US, uh, uh, anywhere in Europe as well. It's uh, affecting, like, these people uh, in uh, these uh, countries, right? So I don't know, though. I don't know. There is isn't that much fuss though he's right though i'm not seeing many people talk about it some are talking i mean i'm talking now you're probably watching you're gonna talk about it or perhaps not but it's uh yeah we're not seeing the same level of uh uh what's this called we're, we're not seeing people talk about it the way they talked about it a week ago i yeah i think that people have the energy to fight again yeah but yeah, i want to yeah. just no bring that left. to your attention and then compare it to this right here because these motherfuckers are lying okay i i do not believe this for a second and i'm sorry i don't but just okay. look at this as per Charlie Intel, all right? He says, Xbox president Sarah Bond recently reaffirmed all Xbox first party games will launch day one on Game Pass, potentially including Call of Duty. Importantly, you get every single one of the games we build day one in Game Pass. And you're going to see some more really big games going into Game Pass later this year. Across the whole slate, across the whole slate, you're going to see some really amazing things. This is via Bloomberg. Notice how Charlie Intel, at the very least, I, I've been critical of Charlie Intel and their reporting and their biases and stuff, but I will say this. Uh, he says, potentially, including potentially, Call of Potentially, yeah. Why keyword. do you think that is? And why do you think... Ding, 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 translation. Potentially doesn't mean it's gonna come. That's like the, the, the coping mechanism, right? Because, uh, of course, they previously said, and they're still saying all the Xbox first party games, and right now, Call of Duty is a first party game. <laughs> Right now, it is a it is a first party game. Yeah, bro. Uh, too bad, Sony ponies. Too bad, Sony. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, listen, I play on PlayStation as well, so it just jokes, right? But just banter. But like, too bad. Now, uh, Call of Duty is a first party Xbox title because they bought it. That's what Xbox does. They buy out their competition and then shut their their studios out. They nuke their studios, and this is why suckers have been uh, nuking. This is why I suck is where's that? Where's that? Yeah, this is and this is a story apparently. The guy who nuked Phil Spencer with for the climax, the guy who nuked Phil Spencer in Fallout 76 says that it has been his mission for weeks. And I quote, he was the final boss in my eyes, referring to Phil Spencer, like Phil Spencer was the final boss. Bruh. In an RPG, I prefer <laughs> I prefer to be the <laughs> I prefer to be the bad guy ends up nuking Phil Spencer. <laughs> Phil Spencer camp in the game. Uh, Endymion responded by saying, dude said, I thrive off of violence and negativity. Another guy says, he says he's a bad guy, but in reality, in reality, carefully, he's a hero, yeah? 
Yeah, yeah. Yo, and right as we get down to the climax here, folks, real quick, I want to say this is my second channel. This is where we upload UFO content, conspiracy content every single day. The link would be in the top and comment below where you can find my Instagram, Twitter, all my YouTube channels, the second channel, the third channel. Bruh. Yeah, you got a third channel as well, guys. Uh, we've got Facebook and we also have a secret link here. So definitely check it out. All right, let's get back to the content now, boo boo. I think Call of Duty was not specifically named in this because it's false hype. Call yeah. of Duty is not coming to Game Pass. If it does come to Game Pass and I am wrong, Game Pass prices are going to pull a Netflix and gradually increase to the point where it, it's just not going to be worth it anymore. These companies will do everything they can to build hype for something that either isn't there or that's going to nickel and dime you to death. If you think Activision, Blizzard, and Microsoft is going to part with the schmucks that part with their $70 per year for their, you know, annual recycling yeah. job, their annual... From Bloomberg, what we're hearing is that they're currently debating, which means that they have not finalized just yet. They previously alluded to and kind of, or not even kind of, they literally said that Activision games, all the, all the Activision games, and now they're reiterating all the first party titles call of duty is now a first party title tough love but it is okay so a lot of people are speculating and rightfully so understandably a lot of xbox fans and even playstation fans or pc fans uh everybody uh gamers from all walks of life are, are, are assuming that call of duty is going to be on game pass and this is how uh, we're going to be able to save a lot of money although some people are saying you're going to own nothing and be happy absolutely i understand where people are coming from but a lot of people are also like hey i already have game pass so I don't want to spend money on buying the game. I want to see Call of Duty be on Game Pass. Understandably, because they kind of alluded to that. Uh, and this is potentially why they bought Activision. And this is apparently why Sony was really, really worried about losing Call of Duty in a sense. Because, for example, think about this way, right? The next Xbox comes out, right? And Call of Duty is coming on PlayStation, but you have to buy the for $70. Or maybe by that time, it's going to cost $100. We do not know, right? Plus taxes crazy timeline to be uh, alive so by the time maybe that's gonna happen and if you or or and or if you go ahead and purchase for example xbox and you get game pass guess what you got xbox you got the console right you got game pass hundreds of other games right and alongside that you also get call of duty casuals and the normies are probably gonna buy xbox at that point if they only play call of duty because most people crazy shocker shocker sit down if you if you're standing up right now if you were not aware shocker most people only play gta online nba May maiden call of duty and fortnite Bruh. that's what majority of the gamers play or the normies rather so if you get all of these games for free in a way or perhaps with like a 17 dollars subscription then i mean what's the point of buying the game for 70 dollars and that's what sony was really really afraid of because they're gonna lose uh, a lot of the customers but now uh we're hearing all the bad news surrounding xbox so a lot of people are kind of like oh shit like i didn't see that coming well dlc releases a full game you are out of your goddamn mind there's no way. There's no way. And if I'm wrong there, hey, I will gladly accept an L because I am tired of being right. I called this Helldivers 2 controversy before it happened. If you want to go way back, I actually, I swear to God, this is true. I actually called Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard after the debacle that was the Vanguard Warzone 2 update integration thing where they broke every single Call of Duty title. I called that happening, and I'll link that video at the end of this one, I'll put it on the end screen, you can check it out if you don't believe me, but it's in that video towards the end. Right hand to God, I called that. I am sick of being right. It's not hard to predict this stuff, it's, it's like written on the wall pretty much, and I say that because if you just open your eyes, you take out Stop your emotions, cow. you take out your confirmation bias, whatever. It's right there. Realistic, realistically, I see uh, uh, them actually putting all the older Call of Duty games on Game Pass and the new Call of Duty games comes out on Game Pass like a year after launch. Bruh. Realistically, best case scenario, it comes out day one. Worst case scenario, it doesn't come out at all. <laughs> But I don't think they're gonna do that because if they do that, I already seen so many Xbox fans uh, saying that I'm gonna cancel my Game Pass. Uh, yeah, I, I, and if you're an Xbox fan, if you have Game Pass, let me know. Would you cancel your Game Pass subscription if Call of Duty doesn't come on Game Pass? Or you're like, hey, perfectly fine, bro. Like, ah, right, you know what? I'm not gonna cancel it. I wanna know where you at. Staring you in the face, guys. Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo, if these guys have taught you anything, if, if these companies have taught you anything over the years, please do not trust them. Yeah. And you might be thinking this is a you know gaming issue, it's an, it's an industry-wide issue, yes, but whatever. Guys, this is a worldwide issue. This is a nationwide issue at the very least. Yeah. This yeah, is yeah. something like 
ever since 2019, and I'm just gonna rant a little bit here. Uh -huh. Ever since 2019, go it's go like off. I've been living in a fever dream. It's like I've been living in a Twilight Zone episode or something. The prices of everything have skyrocketed. Studies have shown that we're actively getting dumber. I'm not making that up. Every single year, we get fatter, sometimes morbidly so. We are getting poorer, we are getting fatter, we are getting weaker, we are getting dumber. Like, it, it's a nationwide issue, it's a worldwide issue, really. Why do you think that is? Why do you think these companies think they could get away with this stuff? I don't know how to say this without sounding kind of like a conspiracy. And this is why, like, they, they wanted this in Stellar Blade. They wanted to promote body positivity. <laughs> yeah. Taco Bell it is! Taco Bell it is! McDonald's! Hey, man, they need to ban fast food restaurants. <laughs> no, they, they don't need to. I mean, I'm, I'm just joking around. But, like, I, I feel like that there needs to be something done with it. Like, they're, they're promoting a lot of that garbage on everyday people, right? That, hey, it's totally cool. It's totally okay to get your Slurpees to go in McDonald's every day. I mean, once in a while, yeah, sure. Like, can a brother perhaps not be, like... You, you, you feel what I'm saying, right? But like, they, this is what they want to promote all day, 24-7. Hey, don't work out. Working out is bad for you, right? Being overweight is perfectly fine. It's not. If you are overweight, hey, I, I get it though, like not trying to body shame anybody, but you know it's not healthy for you, right? Statistically, objectively, according to studies, it's not good, right? Subjectively, I mean, you can say it's the best thing ever, but like, objectively speaking, it's not. Uh, but they want to like, push you towards that, so conspiracy theorist here but like they want us to be in this weekend just yeah. pathetic state yeah, yeah, yeah. so that they can take advantage of us and we won't ask questions I, yeah. I, it's happening right before your eyes it's not a conspiracy yeah. theory just literally look at the stuff i just showed you there all that's like cited actual research i could leave verified links if you would like me to to those particular articles uh and studies human greed will destroy everything true just how it is true. how it's always true. been how it always will be it's in our dna i'm pretty sure at this point I feel like I'm a 70 year old man saying get off my lawn, but get off my fucking lawn. <laughs> you know what I, mean? I, I will accept it. Get off my lawn. Give me good games to play. Stop nickel and diming me to death. Stop treating me like an idiot. Stop yeah. printing infinite money. <laughs> There's a reason why everything is going up in price. Yes, it's greedy corporations for one, but it's also the fact that we're just printing money back by nothing. And if it's back by nothing, why do we even need to pay taxes in the first place? Why not just print my taxes out of thin air? It's all made up. It's all a scam. Yeah. I don't know what to say, man. You Again. know what? You can print all the money, but like after you have printed, can a brother get like a small loan of a two million dollars or something? Li like the video if you agree. Like the video if you agree. Otherwise, Lorenzo will come and whoop your ass. Uh, <laughs> but guys, click on this video on the screen. This video is also going around right now. It's going viral. I'm not sure if you guys were able to catch it or not. Check it out. I think you're gonna not like it first of all. Yeah. So definitely check it out. On the left, this video is on my second channel. Yay, second channel, guys. Check it out and I'll see you right there.